Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about why I purchased a physical dictionary to go along with my reading. So I'm a pretty avid reader and I read every day, but occasionally I come across a word I don't know and I go to look it up on my phone. I Google it and then right after I get the definition, I'm about to put my phone down, but I see if there's a notification. I click it and then I'm a tiny bit distracted and I decide I'm just gonna check my email really quick. Pretty soon I'm checking what YouTube videos are posted now and I check my Instagram and five or 10 minutes have gone by and I've forgotten about the word and I haven't gotten back to reading. This has been happening to me quite a lot lately and if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I'm trying to find ways that I can distract myself a little less from modern technology. So one of my solutions for this was to pick up an old school dictionary. Now I haven't used one of these since I was in elementary school. I think it was mandatory that we all carried one of these in our bags. Everybody had to have a dictionary like this. And this was pretty much the last time that I've seen one of these, honestly. Ever since then I've been using Google and I was kind of fine with that at first. I didn't see what the problem was because smartphones like this are meant to be so convenient, right? They're an all-in-one device. There's a dictionary in there, there's a phone, there's Spotify, there's podcasts, there's GPS, there's everything, there's a camera. But that's kind of the problem with all-in-one devices like this. They're meant to be so convenient as a feature, so you'll pick it up every chance that you get. Anything that you need, this thing is trying to solve it for you, so you'll pick it up. And that's by design. The phone manufacturers and the app designers, they wanna grab your attention every chance that they can get. And by putting all these convenience features in a device like this, that just gives them all the more chances to grab your attention. But nowadays I've been trying to not give up my attention so easily. So I've been finding various little ways that I can win my attention back. And that's where I came across the idea to grab something like a dictionary. I ended up finding one at Salvation Army. You should be able to find these pretty cheap if you find these at thrift stores or used booksellers. This was 25 cents and it's been a perfect tool for me. Now, if I need to find where I'm going directions, I'm not gonna trust the dictionary. If I need to listen to my favorite music, I'm not gonna open the dictionary, but the dictionary does dictionary really, really well. And the fact that that's all it does is very important to me. This is a perfect thing for whenever I come across a word that I don't know while I'm reading, I can just flip this open and then get right back to reading. And that is something that you really shouldn't take for granted nowadays because there are so many people who are employed to just take our attention. Anything like this where you can put up a little wall of defense between you and the technology that wants your attention, I think that's very important. So it's kind of funny taking something like this, some kind of old school antiquated way of doing things and bringing it back but that's kind of what I'm doing around here at this channel because a lot of things like dictionaries which we've given up to just use modern phones has put us at a disadvantage where every time that we pick these things up we're basically walking down a street of hustlers trying to take our attention you know I usually pick up a physical book like this so I have a moment to disconnect you know I sit down in a quiet room and I read and the last thing that I need when I get snagged on a word is to get sucked down the rabbit hole of my phone just like it was designed to do. So for me, picking up a 25 cent companion like this, and it's definitely, you know, at least twice as much to carry around, which can be inconvenient, but I think we need to embrace inconvenience a little bit. Do you still use a physical dictionary? Do you have a physical dictionary? Let me know in the comment section if you think I'm crazy or if this is something that you're on board with. This was just a quick video I wanted to talk about this because I don't hear a lot of people talking about stuff like this. And I think at a time where our attention is under attack more than ever, something like this might be a real viable solution. So thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.